Welcome to Rome, everybody. I'm so excited to be back in the Eternal City, ready to share some of my favorite spots with you. Now, Rome is a city that's been captivating hearts and minds for centuries, a place where ancient history sits comfortably next to modern life. Get ready to explore the top 10 must-visit places in this historic and vibrant city. Over the next few days, we'll be your guides, sharing tips on how to make the most of your time in each spot and hopefully inspiring you to delve even deeper into the magic of Rome. All right, folks, we're kicking things off at the Colosseum, the granddaddy of Roman amphitheaters. Picture this. Back in the day, this massive structure would have been filled with the roar of the crowd and the clash of steel. Can you hear those lions roaring? This place could hold up to 50,000 spectators. It's a testament to the Roman Empire's engineering prowess. Imagine the gladiators preparing for battle and the thrill of the games. It's a truly humbling experience. Appreciate the sheer scale and grandeur of this ancient wonder. Close your eyes, you can almost hear the clash of swords and the cheers of the crowd. It's a journey back in time you won't soon forget. Next stop, Vatican City, the smallest country in the world and the epicenter of the Catholic Church. You'll be blown away by the grandeur of St. Peter's Square, surrounded by those massive colonnades that seem to reach out and embrace you. It's an awe-inspiring sight, folks. And then there's St. Peter's Basilica itself, a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. Step inside and you'll be greeted by a breathtaking interior adorned with intricate mosaics, soaring ceilings, and Michelangelo's magnificent Pieta sculpture. Take your time to explore the Vatican Museums, home to countless treasures of art and history, from ancient Roman sculptures to Renaissance masterpieces by the likes of Michelangelo and Raphael. The Vatican Museums offer a journey through time and artistic brilliance. Trust me, even if you're not a religious person, the sheer beauty and history of this place will leave you speechless. Now let's step back in time and visit the Pantheon, a building so well preserved it feels like a portal to ancient Rome. This architectural marvel was completed in 126 AD by Emperor Hadrian and has been in continuous use ever since. Talk about impressive, right? As you stand beneath the awe-inspiring dome with its famous oculus open to the heavens, you can't help but feel a sense of wonder. The way the light streams through that opening, casting beams across the space, it's just magical. The Pantheon is a true testament to the ingenuity of Roman architects and engineers. Originally a temple dedicated to all the Roman gods, it's now a church, and it's incredible to think about all the history this building has witnessed. As you wander around, take a moment to appreciate the intricate details, the marble floors, the Corinthian columns, and the statues of Roman gods. It's a true feast for the eyes. Chapter 4 the Roman Forum, Echoes of Ancient Rome. Step back in time at the Roman Forum, the heart of ancient Roman life. Senators debated, emperors strutted, and citizens went about their daily business. Imagine the lively marketplace and grand temples that once stood here. It's just a bunch of ruins, but that's where the magic lies. Listen to the echoes of history whispering through the stones. Wander through iconic landmarks like the Arch of Septimius Severus and the Temple of Saturn. Climb Palatine Hill for a breathtaking view over the Forum. Chapter 5. Trevi Fountain, toss a coin, make a wish. Now, who hasn't heard of the Trevi Fountain? It's practically illegal to come to Rome and not toss a coin over your shoulder into its shimmering waters. Legend has it that doing so guarantees your return to this magical city, but even without the legend, the Trevi Fountain is a sight to behold. Completed in 1762, this Baroque masterpiece is a symphony of sculptures, cascading water and intricate details. Take a moment to uh, admire the central figure of Oceanus, the god of the sea, commanding his chariot drawn by seahorses. See if you can spot the allegorical figures representing abundance and health. The sheer exuberance of the design is just incredible. My advice, come back to the Trevi Fountain at night when it's all lit up. The crowds are smaller and the atmosphere is simply magical. Chapter 6, Piazza Navona, a feast for the senses. Get ready for a sensory overload at Piazza Navona, one of Rome's most vibrant and captivating squares. This place is a feast for the eyes, with its stunning Baroque architecture, its lively street performers, and its three magnificent fountains. 
Grab a gelato and stroll around the square, soaking up the atmosphere. You'll find artists selling their wares, musicians filling the air with melodies and locals catching up with friends. At the southern end of the square, you'll find the Fontana del Moro, or the Fountain of the Moor, with its muscular figures wrestling with a dolphin. At the northern end, there's the Fontana del Nettuno, or the Fountain of Neptune, featuring the mighty god battling an octopus. And in the center, the star of the show, the Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi, or the Fountain of the Four Rivers, representing the Danube, the Ganges, the Nile, and the Rio de la Plata. Designed by the Baroque master Gian Lorenzo Bernini, it's a masterpiece of sculpture and hydraulic engineering. Chapter 7, St. Peter's Basilica, A Glimpse of Heaven. Prepare to be awestruck as we revisit St. Peter's Basilica, a true masterpiece of Renaissance architecture and one of the holiest sites in Christendom. Step inside and you'll be greeted by a breathtaking expanse of marble, gold leaf and intricate mosaics. It's enough to make your jaw drop, folks. As you walk through the basilica, take your time to appreciate the sheer scale and grandeur of the place. Look up at Michelangelo's magnificent dome, a marvel of engineering and artistry. Seek out Michelangelo's poignant Pieta, a sculpture of Mary cradling the dead body of Jesus. And don't miss the ornate bronze baldachin over the high altar designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. It's said that the basilica holds the tombs of St. Peter himself, as well as numerous popes throughout history. The atmosphere inside is one of reverence and wonder. Next up, we're heading to the Vatican Museums to visit one of the most famous and awe-inspiring works of art in the world, Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling. Prepare to crane your neck, folks, because this masterpiece will take your breath away. Commissioned by Pope Julius II in the early 16th century, Michelangelo spent four years painting the ceiling, covering over 12,000 square feet of plaster with biblical scenes from the Book of Genesis. The sheer scale and detail of the work are astonishing. From the iconic image of God creating Adam to the dramatic scenes of the Last Judgment, the ceiling is a testament to Michelangelo's genius as an artist, sculptor and storyteller as you gaze up at the ceiling, try to imagine the physical and creative effort that went into creating this masterpiece. Michelangelo actually had to invent special scaffolding and lie on his back while he painted, which is just incredible. Let's take a stroll down the Spanish Steps, one of Rome's most iconic landmarks. Now, these aren't just any steps, folks. This elegant staircase connecting the Piazza di Spagna at the bottom with the Trinita dei Monti Church at the top is a masterpiece of Baroque design. Built in the 18th century, the Spanish steps have been a favorite spot for locals and tourists alike for centuries. Take your time ascending the steps, admiring the cascading curves, the intricate details, and the playful use of perspective. At the top, you'll be rewarded with stunning views over the city, especially at sunset. The Spanish steps are especially charming in the spring when the azaleas are in bloom, adding a splash of color to the scene. Throughout the year, you'll find street vendors selling everything from souvenirs to flowers, adding to the lively atmosphere. Our final stop takes us to Castel Sant'Angelo, a massive cylindrical fortress that has stood guard over Rome for centuries. Originally built by the Roman Emperor Hadrian as a mausoleum for himself and his family in the second century AD, Castel Sant'Angelo has had a long and fascinating history. Over the centuries, it served as a papal fortress, a prison, and even a museum. As you cross the Ponte Sant'Angelo, the bridge lined with statues of angels leading to the castle, take a moment to appreciate the imposing structure. Inside, you can explore the various levels from the ancient Roman foundations to the papal apartments, each with its own stories to tell. Don't miss the views from the top of the castle, offering a unique perspective on the city and the Vatican. Legend has it that the castle is connected to the Vatican by a secret passageway used by popes in times of danger. Well, folks, that's a wrap on our whirlwind tour of Rome's must-visit spots. From the ancient grandeur of the Colosseum to the Baroque elegance of the Trevi Fountain, Rome is a city that truly has something for everyone. I hope this video has inspired you to add Rome to your travel bucket list. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more travel adventures. Arrivederci!